And it's Friday and Aaron's here. Oh, hey. hi. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Thank you. Well, we are talking trending now. We're talking about a social media sensation passing away, an award for a popular kid's toy, and a new type of seat at the movie theater. All right. Yes. First up, though, Next a time. moment of silence, you guys, because the owners of Grumpy Cat announced on Twitter that the seven-year-old passed away due to complications from a urinary tract infection. Grumpy Cat, whose real name was Tartar Sauce, had feline dwarfism, which said the owners had likely accounted for her distinctive facial features. She first became an internet celebrity in 2012 when her owners posted photos and videos of her on Reddit and YouTube. Over the years, Grumpy Cat inspired art projects, shoes, and other merchandise. She also served as a spokes cat for food brands like Friskies. At the time of her death, Grumpy Cat had more than 12 million followers combined on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. In a statement, her owner said Grumpy Cat helped millions of people smile, even when times were tough. True. Her grumpy face made everyone smile. Aww. Yeah, right? That's sad. so sad. sad. And only seven years old. That's so sad. Yeah. But the memes will live on. They sure will. That, that we know will. that. That they will. Well, the Council of Fashion Designers of America has decided to grant Barbie its prestigious Board of Directors Tribute Award. The doll is cited for her wide influence on American fashion and culture. The award coincides with Barbie's 60th anniversary. Fashion collaborators Oscar de la Renta, Ralph Lauren, Bob Mackie, and Vera Wang have all made special Barbies. Pretty cool. I think everybody had a Barbie at some point or one another. I know my sister cut all the I hair off my favorite doll. I, I did not like playing with Barbies. Really? Yeah, I would play Barbie baseball. Which oh, is when you rip their heads off. I was gonna ask if <laughs> play baseball my, with my their bodies. My sister had a Barbie and a Ken doll, and that poor Ken went through so much. Oh, poor Ken! Oh, come <laughs> on, Kenny! <laughs> what happened she, to Ken? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> we don't need to talk about all that. Oh, all right. Well, uh, congrats he, to Barbie. He fell out of the convertible. I don't know how many times and just rolled. <laughs> Ken, he, no. he got fell out. Sure. Yeah. Barbie was not the best. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, well, if you've been to the movies lately, you've probably come across a theater with reclining seats, but a Swiss theater is taking that to a whole new level. Yep. This movie theater has actual beds. Yep. French company Path opened this plush theater in Switzerland last week, and of course, it has the latest technology like IMAX Laser and Dolby Atmos and serves gourmet foods, but what really sets it apart is, of course, the uh, VIP experience there. It starts with a special foyer with its own wine and champagne bar, and from there, you can go to the IMAX VIP box with cocoon seating, a theater called the Lounge Cinema, outfitted with sofas or the Bedroom Cinema, and that is where you can watch the latest release while you're lounging in your own bed for a few hours. A word to the wise, don't see a boring movie in the bedroom cinema or you could drift off. That would you be know, my concern. This sounds like the perfect situation for my dad who falls asleep That's, as soon as yes. the screen comes on. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I've uh, fallen asleep in many movies. Have you really? Yes. Oh my God. Um, so I think this might be my dream. I was gonna say, like, I always Aaron, call it a twenty dollar nap. $20 my dad, <laughs> my dad always makes fun of himself because the last movie he saw in theaters was The Hangover, and he's like, "I fall asleep. I just there's no point in me going." And I'm, yeah. so yeah. this this will be great for dads, I think, too. It could be, yeah. Or I try to go to nap. like a late afternoon movie so that I get a nap in before the movie, and it's a lot of planning. Don't have to worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way you think, though. Well, we want to know what you guys have to say about this one. I know. Do you prefer reclining seats? or maybe beds in a movie theater. Let us know, go to Facebook. If you like this or if you don't like it, let us know, we'll check that at the end of the hour. But still to come on The Morning Show, we're taking a look at two movies in theaters this weekend. Film critics Pam Powell and Chuck Kaplinski are reviewing John Wick 3 and Wild Nights with Emily. Hear what they have to say in Friday Flicks. Plus, right into Studio B for some live music. Britt Black is here to perform for the first time and you're gonna find out where his show is tonight. Coming up next in Friday Jams.